Do you use Apple Notes to jot down anything and everything? Does that leave your notes all disorganized and cluttered? Let's fix that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize Apple Notes more effectively so you can access your notes quickly and effortlessly. By the end of this video, your notes will go from a cluttered mess to a clean, structured and easy to navigate Apple Notes app. Let's get started. The first tip to getting your Apple Notes organized is to start using folders. This should be the obvious one, right? Instead of creating notes all in the root folder, creating or moving notes into a categorized folder is going to help us find and manage it much more easily. But what folder system to use? What's the most effective way? How to get even started on this? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. I'll tell you how I do it. First step is to start with the Marie Kondo inspired technique, which is first declutter before organizing them. Marie Kondo method says to keep the item only which sparks joy or in other words, remove the notes which are unessential before organizing the required ones. Once you've done that, then create a folder structure which best suits you. There are multiple ways here too. The ABC method where you create folders for alphabetical categorization of your notes titles. There is the chronological method where you create folders for years and then months and then notes within them. Or the project based method where each note belongs to a certain project. Then there is the work and personal structure which is what I personally use. There are two main folders called work and personal. Each note belongs in one or the other. Under each folder, there are multiple subfolders based on categories. This works best for me, so I'm going with this. To do this in Apple Notes, go to the home page of Apple Notes. Select this icon here at the bottom left corner. Give it a name. Let's call this one work. Hit done. Now the folder appears under the all iCloud section. Create more subfolders here as per your needs. Similarly, I do this for my personal folder as well. Now let's move notes into their respective folders. To do this, open all notes, long press on a note, select move and choose the appropriate folder for it. That's it. That by itself is going to make your knowledge management at least 70% more organized. Hashtags are a feature in Apple Notes where you can specify one or multiple keywords in a note with a hashtag and Apple will be able to tag that note with those hashtags. These hashtags can be used to organize your notes as well. For example, whenever you create a note, simply type hashtag work, hashtag travel or hashtag recipe anywhere in the note and Apple Notes will automatically recognize it as a tag. You can also add multiple tags to a single note like hashtag work, hashtag YouTube, hashtag topic or hashtag grocery, hashtag produce, hashtag vegetable to niche it down even further. Just adding a hashtag may not have changed the appearance immediately, but it internally creates a folder like structure using the hashtags. For example, if I need to find all my topic related notes, I can search using the hashtags like a folder structure. Hashtag work, hashtag YouTube, hashtag topics. Now this has filtered all my notes based on that, which helps me find them so easily. Okay, we saw creating folders and adding hashtags. One difficulty in maintaining my folders properly is that as I add new notes periodically, my folders become quickly disorganized and I need to keep maintaining it by moving them to the right folders frequently. What if there's a way to automatically move any note to their appropriate folders? Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, there is a way. It's called Smart Folders, which combines using folders and hashtags. Unlike regular folders, Smart Folders automatically group your notes based on tags. For example, if I create a new note with hashtag, hashtag YouTube, it's going to automatically go into a Smart Folder called YouTube. Similarly, if I create a note with hashtag receipts, 
it's going to automatically go into the smart folder called receipts. To create a smart folder, go back to the home page, tap new folder, give it a name. Let's call this receipts. Now select make into smart folder and choose one or more filters to define how notes will be included. Under tags, select any selected tag and then type hashtag receipt. You can also filter by creation date, modification date, attachments and more giving you tons of customization options. For now, I'll skip the extras and just hit done. And just like that, every note tagged hashtag receipt will instantly appear in this receipt smart folder. It's like having an AI powered assistant keeping your notes perfectly organized. While we are talking about smart folders, here's a tip to organize all your to-do or checklist in a folder automatically using smart folders. I'm going to create a new note to manage my travel checklist. Now from the bottom tab here, choose this. Now I'll add all my travel checklist items. I already have a couple of other checklists previously created too. Now I'll go to the home page, create a new folder. Give it a name. I'll select make it into smart folder. Now under the filters, I'll select checklist. Now, as soon as I create the folder, I'll see all my notes containing checklists are flooded into the smart folder. Smart, isn't it? This way, all my checklists are in one place. If you have notes that you refer to very often, like a to-do list, project plan or important reminders, pinning them to the top can save you a ton of time. Instead of scrolling through your notes every time, just swipe right on a note and then tap the pin icon. That's it. The note will stay at the top of your list no matter how many new notes you create. You can also pin multiple notes in a folder and they will always be on top of the list. Use quick notes for temporary thoughts. If you have random ideas or temporary information that doesn't need to live in your main folders, start using quick notes. Instead of cluttering up your primary folders, you can use quick notes for things like ideas, reminders or notes you will only need for a short time. To create a quick note, just swipe from the top right corner of your screen to open the control center and then tap the quick note option. If you don't see it there, just long press anywhere on the control center, tap add control, search for quick note and then add it. Now you can easily jot down whatever comes to your mind. This helps keeping your main folders neat and organized while still allowing you to capture fleeting thoughts without losing them. You will find your quick notes in the home page of the notes app under the quick notes folder. Once you no longer need the note, simply delete it. It's that simple. Let's talk about how you can make your notes easy to find and easy to read. First thing, give your notes clear searchable titles. Instead of a vague title like just meeting, be specific. Something like budget planning meeting notes, April 2025. This tells you exactly what the note is about and makes it easier to find later using the search bar. Over time, your notes app can get cluttered with old notes, with notes that you may no longer need. Instead of letting them pile up, periodically do a cleanup to keep them organized. Cleanup involves two things. First, deleting unnecessary notes and second, archiving notes which cannot be deleted but still not useful on a regular basis. I'll give you a tip to do this cleanup easily. First, sort all your notes by date created. Most likely, your older notes will be the ones requiring cleanup. To change the sort order, go to Settings, Notes, Sort Notes by and select by date created. Now that your notes are sorted, start with the oldest one. Either delete the note or move them to a folder called Archive. Apple Notes does not have a default Archive folder 
you have to create a new folder and name it archive. This way your main notes stays fresh and relevant while your past notes remains neatly sorted for future reference. There are few other settings that you can change to sort your notes here. You can go through it and customize it as per your liking. I hope your Apple Notes is coming together well already. Let's see what's next. This next tip is very powerful, note linking. If you're constantly jumping between related notes, this feature will increase your productivity immensely. Instead of searching for a note every time, you can link related notes together just like you would with a website. Let me explain. Open a note and type double right arrow. Now, a list of your existing notes will pop up. Just tap the one you want to link. Now you've got an instant shortcut to another note without digging through folders. This is super useful for projects, research, or even daily planning. Try making a home page for your most used notes, basically like a table of contents for easy access. For example, if you're planning a trip, you can create a main note that links to other notes for flights, hotels, itinerary, and budget. Or if you're working on a project, you can have a dashboard that contains all your meeting notes, ideas, and to-dos. Makes it so much easier, right? Okay, one last but an important note. Losing your important notes because of a phone crash or accidental deletion would be the worst. That's why syncing and backing up is a must. First, make sure iCloud Sync is turned on so your notes stays up to date across all your Apple devices. Just go to settings, your name, iCloud and toggle on notes. Now anything you add or edit will instantly show up on your iPhone, iPad or Mac. No extra effort needed. But syncing isn't the same as backing up. If there is something super important like work notes or travel plans, you might want to export them as PDFs or text files just in case. Simply open a note, tap the share button, select send a copy, save as PDF and store it in a safe place like iCloud Drive or Google Drive. This way, even if something happens to your device, there is redundancy and your notes are still secure and easy to recover. And that's it. With just a few simple tweaks, you can turn your Apple Notes into a super organized, easy to navigate space instead of a cluttered mess. So once you start using folders, smart tags, linking notes or pinning the important ones, these small changes will save you time and frustration. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tricks. And hey, if you have any other cool Apple Notes hacks, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye bye.